One of the coolest features in iOS 5 is Notification Center, where you can just pull down, you know, kind of like Android, pull down your uh, notifications, get weather, stocks, your calendar, emails, etc. Um, but how do you set that up? How do you get your notifications to come in the way you want? We're going to take a look at that right now. You go into Settings, and there will be a notification section. I'm already in that, but in the main settings page, you just tap Notifications. It's right up at the top, and you'll see that Matt's can, uh, sorry, apps can be sorted manually in here. You can go ahead and move them around if you want them in a different order by hitting Edit up at the top there, or you can have them sorted by time which is the time of the notifications, presumably. So if you want to set any notifications, we'll start with the weather widget. And you can see this is on or off the notification center. I've turned stocks off, so it's not showing up here. And then also you have things like phone. And uh, so where does, a, where does a phone come in? This comes in on actual alerts if you get a phone call. Um, and you'll see that most of these pages look about the same. A reminder, a reminder comes out as a standard alert. This over here shows a standard alert, the old style, where a message pops up that you have to click on and, and deal with right that minute. Then there's the banner, which will let you um, have a little banner that comes up on top here when something, uh, when something comes in, which is what you'll want to do for most things, like, say, if you were to get a message. That's set to banners, so your SMS text messages will come up up there. And then there's none, in which you will get no notification at all, and you'll have to check the app itself to see. You can also set whether or not a badge icon comes up if you show a preview in the notifications bar, or if you don't, um, if the re alert will repeat, which is good um, sometimes for the banners because you can miss those, uh, and you, maybe you really want the alert to repeat if you have like an alarm set and you want and you want that alert. So. You can have those repeat in that case, and then view in the lock screen. So when you're actually locked and you have notifications, they'll actually show up in here. And that's pretty much all you have to do to set these up. You just go through every app that you want, and you can just choose any of those things. And you'll also see one more thing we didn't look at was the, um, was the show how many recent items. And so this is how many items will show up in the notification dropdown. Um, right now I have probably five set for calendar, but I only have three things it feels like showing me. Mail, I don't know how many, but, well, we can take a look, maybe. No, uh, it's not right there. Okay, so calendar there, five items. But you can set that to one or ten, however many you want to show, and that will determine what shows up in your notifications bar. So once you've gone through all your apps, and you'll probably want to go in here and set them up for other apps, although they will default in general to banners, um, regardless of what the app is, then uh, then your notifications drop-down will work as you want, and your lock screen will display the information that you want. So make sure you go through everything that you need to go through to get that set up, and you should be all good to go so your notifications won't bug you too much anymore.